Welcome back to the NBU Basketball Coaches Show. I'm Joel Dudek. That's Sam Pearson, and uh, this is the postseason edition. Uh, we are in the gym before uh, this man uh, puts him up to all the practice for the postseason. And Sam, uh, it was obviously a great year. We couldn't say it enough in the postgame interview after Cotty and Senior Day. Yeah. But you guys have had the best season on record in quite some time, more than like 15 years going back to 2006. Yeah. How do you kind of assess, uh, you know, just taking stock of everything that went into this season? Oh man, it's uh, it's been a grind, man. It's been a it's been a grind, man. Um, you know, it's um, uh, it's been some ups, been some downs. You know, fortunate enough to have um, more ups than downs. Yeah. Uh, but man, it's been it's been a grind of, you know, from the start, bringing in a lot of newcomers, eight newcomers, uh, having the returners already here and established, um, having a bit of a tough schedule early on. You know, dropping to. Culver and then uh, and then number one in the country, Central Methodist yeah. now. Uh, so, you know, it's been ups and downs, man, but that's every basketball season. You know, college basketball is the lengthiest season of all college sports. You know, so, man, there's going to be good days. There's going to be bad days, you know, but, uh, you know, you just try to uh, to maximize each day, you know, be two feet in the present and, um, you know, get better, 1% better every day. And I think that we've been able to do so. Uh, I think that we have... Um, ascend it you know each day you know uh or at least not regressed uh in any way even in our defeats you know we've we've gotten better you know so man it's been a it's been a blessing you know we got a, a good group man good group of young aspiring student athletes um you know with a good head on their shoulders you know so it's been fun to coach them uh, you know it's been fun to be in the position that we are tied for first uh with the second seed in the uh, conference tournament um, you know, but man, we're, um, you know, we're, uh, we're, we're still not, uh, you know, we're still not content. You know, I think that our, our, our goal now, you know, our, our number one goal was to host the conference tournament and we weren't able to do so. So now our next goal is to go win that thing, you know, to go get us a ring, uh, first ring ever, you know, so we'll see if we're able to do so, man. We're going to take it one game at a time. Uh, William Woods Friday night uh, at Columbia College. Uh, and Woods has played us tough the first couple of games. I think that we've won by maybe nine and then also 14 or so. Can't really, I can't, I can't remember, but you know, somewhere in there. So man, Woods plays us tough, uh, you know, every time we play, man. So we'll see if we're able to, to lock in, play our best brand of basketball, take it one game at a time, have tunnel vision on to the next play, uh, you know, and, 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 uh, and see if we're able to make some noise, man, in this conference tournament, baby. Absolutely. Finished with a 22 and four record overall, like you said. Your losses come to a, a pretty good Culver Stockton team. Yeah. Uh, the team that won the conference twice in Columbia College and the team that finished number one in the nation in the yeah. final poll that came out today. Yeah. So, yeah. Uh, along with that team success, you guys had a lot of individual, like, uh, just accomplishments in general. Yeah. Alexis Alston, who's shooting right behind us, passed the uh, 1,000 point mark for yeah. career. Yeah. Uh, and who could forget Tiani Taylor becoming the all time. Uh, program uh, leading score. That's right. For That's you guys. right. That's right. So, um, you know, what's it been like to celebrate those individual triumphs over this year? Man, it's been special, man. You know, we got a special group, man. We got a special group. We got some girls who's uh, who I've been able to grow with over the last couple of years, uh, who have grown in themselves, you know, in their maturity, in their leadership, uh, and on the court, who they are as ball players, man. So it feels good to celebrate Alexis Austin, you know, who we don't celebrate often, you know. Uh, Tiani Taylor gets a lot of the shine and a lot of the praise, man, but Alexis Olsen is probably the foundation, man, of our success. So it feels good to celebrate her, you know, celebrate a thousand points, uh, celebrate Tiani Taylor's all-time leading score, you know, and, you know, when the All-Conference Awards comes out, you know, I think that Lauren Ebert, Casey Rice, I think Bryce Dow, Deanna Dodd are all deserving of it. Um, but there can only be four players per each team, man. So uh, it, it kind of hurts, you know, it kind of, yeah. uh, you know, uh, teams that play with a lot of depth as we do, as Columbia does. Um, one, it kind of hurts our statistics, you know, so we played with a little less depth last year and Tiani Taylor averaged 19 a game, you know, well now we're more, we play with more depth than now she's to around 14 or 15, you know, but it doesn't mean she's any less of a player, you know, it just means we have, you know, better, uh, a better team around her. Uh, you know, so for us to only be able to uh, nominate four players, 
you know, may hurt us. You know, I think, again, Bryce Dow is so deserving of being an all-conference player, whether she ends up being or not. Same with Deanna Dot. Uh, you know, but our entire starting five, man, our entire starting five and on down to the bench, man. You know, we have some we have a really good group of individuals who have put their uh, their their own agendas and their own egos to the side, man, and have really formed one heck of a team, man. You know, and uh, we 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 win together. We lose together. We laugh together. We cry together, man. But we got a unit uh, that I think is ready to head into this postseason, man, and play some really good team basketball, man. Yeah. Share it, share it like a team, guard it like a team, rebound it like a team, and celebrate everybody's successes, man. So uh, so we're excited for it, man. Right, and talking about that postseason, you know, the second season that you guys have been fighting for all year and came this close to hosting, like, in this gym. Yeah, but, yeah. Uh, nonetheless, you're headed to Columbia College for the AMC Basketball Championship, and you mentioned William Woods is your opening round opponent yeah. come Friday but uh, there's a high likelihood that you'll be uh, playing UHSP for a third time this season. Yeah. And on the opposite side of the bracket, the team that you probably uh, have your sights set on is Columbia College. And if yeah. you can meet them in the championship game, that would mean that you're going to the NAI tournament. Yeah. What's got to happen for you guys? And what are you telling them in the locker room here at uh, practice that you're about to have uh, for you guys to you know, achieve that agenda? Yeah, well, I'm, t I'm telling them to be two feet in right now. Uh, all we can control is right now. Uh, I'm going to step on this practice court and I want to have one heck of a practice. I want to fly around. I want a lot of energy. I want the gym to be nice and loud. I want us to be bouncing around, you know, banging bodies, you know. Um, but we're going to be two feet in right now, you know. And then tomorrow we're going to get on the road. We got to we got to uh, shoot around in Columbia. We got the conference banquet come tomorrow night. And then uh, and then Friday, man, we're going to take it one game at a time. You know, we're going to be two feet in to William Woods, you know. And uh, although... Um, uh, the seedings say that we'll play uh, uh, a pharmacy on on uh, Saturday. You know, it's not guaranteed. Right. You know, uh, it's not guaranteed they beat Lion, nor is it guaranteed we beat William Woods, man. So we just gotta we gotta be two feet in right now. You know, take it one game at a time, one practice at a time. Uh, continue to ascend, continue to get one percent better each day. You know, I mean, we're 22 and four, but we aren't we aren't 26 and 0. You know, there's still a lot of room for improvement for us, man, and we're going to. Uh, we're going to just try to continue to improve, man, continue, continue to, uh, I need to improve some calls, some lineups that I have down the stretch. Uh, we can improve some defensive adjustments, you know, and some, uh, you know, ways we're guarding the ball screen or whatever that may be, man. So we're going to just uh, continue to try to get better, uh, take this thing one game at a time, man, uh, you know, and God willing, you know, we do play for the championship, man. It'll be really sweet, you know. Um, you know, to give ourselves that opportunity, you know, to win the first ever conference tournament championship, man, for NBU women's basketball would mean a lot. Uh, you know, but again, man, that's uh, that's about a week's a week away, man. So we got to, uh, you know, we just got to stay locked in and, and, and today, man, and maximize the day. Absolutely. It's all about fine tuning and uh, just putting, uh, you know, 100 percent effort in at this that's point. Right, baby. That's yeah. right, baby. That's right. That's right. That's all we can do. We appreciate the time. Absolutely. Congratulations on a good season. But yeah. We're wishing you luck. Time to get going, I baby. That's so cute, yeah. Yeah, yeah. This has been uh, Sam Pearson along with myself, Joel Devick. Keep it tuned to MBUSpartans.com for everything MBU women's basketball. And we'll wish them luck in Columbia yeah. for the AMC Women's Basketball Championship. Thank you. And thank we'll be you. right back with Kevin Paulus and Preston Ingram on the men's side. Welcome back to the postseason preview here on the Spartan Digital Network. This guy needs no introduction, but uh, Preston Ingram, head men's basketball coach here at Missouri Baptist. And before we talk about what's coming up for the team, let's talk about how we got here. Uh, specifically last week, the game against Harris Stowe. I know that's a game you a little nervous going into. You're nervous going into every game, but yep. there was a lot on the line, and your team actually uh, stepped up in that one. We did. We did. I thought we played a pretty good game. Uh, we did something we have never done before run zone. Uh, I'm not a zone guy. <laughs> uh, but, you know, I thought that it gave us the best option to be able to try to really kind of throw them for a curve or something of not preparation for it. Now, I didn't like the fact that we gave 20 turnovers over, and, right. and we also gave up 21 offense rebounds. but. Other than that, I thought we played a pretty clean game until the last couple of minutes when they hit some shots. But uh, pretty proud of our guys in a, in a, in a playoff-type game. Uh, it's a game that we could possibly see them again, possibly. Right. Um, but, you know, nonetheless, though, so, I mean, we stepped up. We made some shots. We had a great halves, and, 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 and uh, we came out both halves uh, pretty hot, especially in the second half. I thought we came out and made some shots. Though. 
Yeah, absolutely. Well, just, you know, obviously regular season's over now. Just quick assessment. Where is this team right now? How are you feeling about, you know, how the pieces are kind of coming together? I know that's the that's the magic question throughout the year is to be playing your best basketball yeah. at the end of the year. Where do you feel you're at right now? I actually feel really well about good. it. Good. Uh, probably the first time I've sit there and say, confident, I feel really good about where we're at mentally. Uh, I feel like we're pretty good about where we want to be physically. Uh, we're still a little banged up, but we're starting to get a little bit healthy. I feel like our guys are pretty engaged about what needs to happen. Right. Um, and that we're on a day by day. We, I mean, that's one thing we just talked about in our pregame huddle is, um, you know, what needs to take place today. Don't make it your last, make it your best. And we're just one day at a time for us. You can't get past the day until you get through today. And that's one thing, like, as well as you know, like, I, I, I try to stay as that the entire time. But I like where we're at from a mental hand standpoint. I like where we're at from a physical standpoint. From an emotion standpoint, our guys are very communicative and very live, so I like where we're at right now with it. Absolutely, and so let's kind of take a 5,000 foot view of the season. Um, obviously, when you start out the year, your goals are probably, you know, win the conference, make it to the NAIA tournament. Season's been a bit of a roller coaster, 16 and 12, but at the end of the day, you're right where you want to be right now. Without a doubt. You won the conference, you know? <laughs> right. We won the conference back-to-back right. -back years. Right. I think that's pretty special because it's hard. You know, what we did last year is one thing, but what we're doing this year, the target's on your back, so everybody's gunning for you. And we played a national-level schedule, and, uh, you know, to end the year, receiving votes, playing the national tournament, coming back, receiving votes, pick to win the league, and be to go back and do it again, uh, that, that, that's, that's instrumental as it is already. And we knew that was going to be tough. But the thing was also, too, though, is we've been to 15 different theme parks on 24 different rides this year. <laughs> right, right. And, um, you know, I feel like um, we, we, we're we probably going to happen that way. Right, right. I don't that's like just, it that way. That's just the reality of this team. Right. You know? yeah. and, and, and we have a lot of new faces. It's yeah. not like we returned a lot. Yeah. Uh, we returned several guys. But at the end of the day, we've returned just a handful of guys that has actually true playing experience. Right. Instead, what we're trying to do now is trying to put it all together. And I'm pleased about what's going. I'm not the most happiest about the situation, but at the end of the day, here's the thing. We're all struggling this year. Right. Calipari, Underwood, uh, even the top of the Big 12 right now right. has their own struggles. And North Carolina, Hooper Davis has a returning team that played in the championship game last year right. that is struggling trying to find right. their now identity again. Yeah. It, it might be out. Yeah. And yeah. I think we're all trying to do that. As long as we keep our value, understand the value, and know our no, and do what we're supposed to be doing, I think we'll be fine. So I may be way off on this. I'm sure you'll uh, correct me if I am. But to me, there's almost a little bit of comfort in knowing that your tournament starts now. Like, yes. you guys will play until you lose. There's no, you know, right. there's no, hey, let's let's watch the selection show, see if we get in. Right. It starts now. You right. guys just have to, if if you, you know, complete the dream and you win the NAIA championship, you right. got to win nine in a row instead of six in a row. That's no doubt. It. Absolutely. No doubt. I mean, I mean, and, and you're exactly hit on the button. We experienced that last year. Um, even coming in, the, coming in at 25 wins, uh, we had to win the championship game right. to to get there. Right. Um, or 23 wins, I guess it was, right. in, in, until the 26th. But we had to win to get there. Isn't the exact same thing is true for us, Columbia, Stowe, Willie Bath, CBC. It doesn't really matter. Whoever that it is, you're going to have to win all three games to be able to get to the tournament, right. and then you got to win five more games to be able to right, win it. Right. And Either way you go, you're going to have to take care of it. And it's one day at a time for yeah. us. I, I mean, like, if we try to get too far ahead, I think we're going to put ourselves in a pickle. And I think yeah. that's going to be true. I'm not big about celebrations. Yeah. Uh, you know, we don't cut down the nets for, for winning conference. Um, we don't buy T-shirts. We don't do none of that stuff. What we do is uh, we expect ourselves to be able to do that. We expect ourselves to put ourselves in position. The only time you cut down the net is when you actually done something to move to the next round. Mm -hmm. And we haven't done that yet. And so our focus is only on that and make sure that we're not pre-celebrating ourselves because you haven't done anything just yet. By the time this airs, uh, we will know that Brendan Hardy is player of the year. Yeah. Uh, Tyrell Andrews, yeah. uh, second team. Jade is third team. Talk a little bit about Brendan. I mean, you've talked uh, about him so much, but I mean, uh, a holdover from Matt Brock, but he's, as you said, he's yours. Yeah, you no, know? no question about it. I, I, I uh, it always brought me to tears yesterday. I almost had, a, when I saw it, yeah. uh, I had to look three times. Yeah. 
to make sure I saw that right. Like, wait, what? I said, <laughs> wait, are we sure about this? This yeah. is a misprint. Yeah. Um, I, I, I mean, I'm incredibly proud of him. That's something he's been really working on. Yeah. Um, he's a self-made guy, and and I mean, I think he squeezed every ounce of it out. But he's been the most consistent. He has been an everyday guy. He has been my glue piece to everything that we do. Uh, the culture, the change of the face when he were, his last one is, is going to change right. at MOBAP. I think he's the first ballot Hall of Famer. Um, I, to be honest with you, I think that he might go down in history as one of the best. You're talking about he's won three conference championships. He's yep. been a part of that. Two or one conference tournament championship, two national tournament appearances, two first team all, all leagues, yep. and now a player of the year. And if right. we can do it again, he'll be the only player in history to be able to do those. He's no other player has ever done that. Um, I, I, I don't know if it gets any better than Brittany Hardy. He might move himself in the top five or six scoring. He is in, in, he's in fifth right now. He's in fifth yeah. right now. Yeah. So, I mean, like, it continued to move this needle. Yeah. I mean, like, I just, I can't say enough about what Brittany's been to me. He's one of my first guys when I met on campus. Here's another back end story about this, not to go too much detail. But whenever I was interviewing for the job, the first guys I saw on campus was Brennan Hardy and Hassan DeCarlos. Okay. And they made to have a full circle and have yeah. Hassan on, on staff. On staff yeah. And then coaching Brennan for four years and made to see him. My first day on campus, I talked to Brennan and Brennan was like, Coach, I want to be I, I, I want to be the best. And he has such a Kobe mindset that he works diligently on the details. Mm -hmm. And I'm proud of him. I really yeah. am. Yeah. Uh, Tyrell, I mean, you, I mean, you're talking about a guy that was a – Bench guy for us that was one of the best players for us off the bench to step in the role and be able to fulfill RJ's role and be able to con continue that. Be on all defensive team, mm -hmm. second team all league. He's won his games. Uh, I think he's gone to everybody's best player and done it extremely well. He's not going to have stats. He's going to value you out. But man, I mean, his point production defensively is un it's, it's, it's incredible. Right. Um, and his story and I and mine is so similar a lot of self a, a lot of doubtage a lot of stop and go when he came here he had been out for two years i was due out two it two years when i went to evangel and i mean like he and i relationship is such a bond uh in so many different ways and and i couldn't be more proud of him and then jadis jadis and i both go to neosho county right right he both and i were mocan guys uh both of us kind of come back with similar stories also too and be a three-time all-league player, one of the best point guards without a doubt in the last two years, the last three years. It's the first time he's not hold the assist record hold right. in the conference or steals. Uh, but he's number two. Yep. Uh, proud of him and uh, and what he's meant for us. And again, he could go back to back. All those guys could go back to back right. and do something that hadn't been done before. And so um, I've been blessed and 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 and, and uh, honored by both of those guys or all three of those guys for what they meant to us. Yeah. We're recording this Thursday morning, and uh, tonight uh, UHSP is yep. the opponent. Uh, talk a little bit about them. Well, we're going to see them a couple of weeks ago, you know. And <laughs> yeah. <laughs> they put my blood pressure pretty right, high right. over there at third place, you know. And, uh, you know, I, Danny, I think, runs the best stuff there is, man. He's going to be countering something. Last time they kind of threw us for a curve, they threw us for a zone, and hopefully we're going to be prepared for that. Uh, I know he runs a lot of commonality a actions that are like a lot of common stuff that he does, but they, they move pieces around. Uh, Grant Harper's had a great year facilitating the basketball. I think Jason Undelisa is one of the best players there is in the league. Right. Um, you know, and, and, and what he does, and he's always hurt us every single time. And so he'll be a key focal point for us. But, you know, if we get out, we play the way we want to do, get out, get stops, play fast, get out in transitions. I like our opportunities, our chances, what we need to do, but we're going to put the ball in the hole and get some stops. Good luck, Coach. I appreciate it, man. Uh, it's always. Preston Ingram. He's the head men's basketball coach here at MOBAP. And you've been watching the postseason preview on the Spartan Digital Network.